Bangladesh will leave this tournament on Tuesday in their last game. Disappointed. I mean, they don't have far to go. They are home. <laughs> but uh, when they played against Hong Kong in that last preliminary, they were beaten. They did well enough to get into the Super 10s. But when they did get there, a massive flop. What has gone wrong for Bangladesh in this tournament? Well, their main batsmen did not come to the fore. Tammy McBall, um, Shaki Balassan, they really didn't come out the way they would have liked. The captain, Mushfikur uh, Rahim, the wicketkeeper, he tried hard, but it didn't work for them. And I think they'd be very disappointed. In the meantime, though, the Pakistanis would be very pleased. They didn't get to the 200, they got 190, but they've got a new batsman, Ahmed Shahzad, who got 100, 100 not out. And this is important because they're now starting to rumble a little bit. And the West Indies will have been noticing that because the West Indies' next game is Pakistan. Indeed it is. Pakistan today batting first on a very good pitch in some good conditions. The teams came out into the under the tunnel. And when they did get there, it was the Shizad show. He continued to bat so well, played lots of fluent shots, although some wickets fell early around him. Well, yes, I think that um, they knew that they would get some wickets. But in the meantime, very good catch um, down to the backward square leg there. And that was Kaman Akmal. He was out for nine from 12. When he got out, things got a little better because the runs continued to flow. Shoaib Malik, uh, he made 26, but the 100 by Shizad was the highlight.